Spectre is an entity that was created to support the fact that we are one of 13 regional emerging and special pathogens treatment centers in the United States. These treatment centers were created after the outbreak of Ebola in 2014 to 16. During that outbreak, it became really clear that there was a gap in the ability to provide care for persons with these pathogens. So we have these regional and emerging special pathogens treatment centers, which were developed to both provide care and also to support other healthcare entities to be able to improve their ability to provide care. UTMB serves as one of 13 regional emerging special pathogens treatment centers, or RESPECs, across the United States. We are the regional treatment center for Health and Human Services Region 6, which encompasses Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, and New Mexico. Here at UTMB, we work with and prepare to care for some of the most deadliest pathogens, ones that other people run away from and are afraid to take care of. Our biocontainment unit is a safe place to provide care for these patients who might not otherwise be able to receive care. As the Regional Treatment Center for Region 6, we connect with the other 12 RESPECs as well as with the National Emerging Special Pathogens Training and Education Center, NETEC. We provide education and outreach within our region as well as nationally on how to identify and respond to special pathogen threats, whether they emerge within our country or come into our country from abroad. Well, the skills we practice are to train for scenarios in various situations dealing with high risk uh, pathogens because you really don't know what the next outbreak is going to bring. So we have to train for the unexpected. Now at UTMB, we have sort of a special additional capacity because we also have an incredible resource of subject matter experts in the basic science of these diseases. It's important to have the research and the care for Spectre in the same facility because we can actually have daily conversations about how to improve patient care. It's one thing to have the basic science going on, but then as it moves to applied or translational, we need to be able to have that ability to have conversations with clinicians that are gonna to have to deploy the drugs and therapeutics that we're developing. The infectious diseases community in campus involves more than 150 labs doing research on different emerging uh, pathogens ranging from basic research, translational research, and epidemiological research here in the U.S. and international. The breadth of international collaborations that our researchers have spans probably the whole world and includes viral pathogens, bacterial pathogens, and parasites that affect the most vulnerable populations around the world. Our group is called the University of Texas Medical Branch One Health Research and Training Group, and we conduct surveillance for novel respiratory viruses that spill over between species, often from animals to humans. And we look for basically those spillover events that might lead to the next pandemic. We're also working with uh, some of the farms here in Texas to look at vaccines, and we propose a, a bunch of other studies that are under review for, for funding. I think the ability to, for basic scientists such as myself to interact with clinicians who have an expertise in these emerging infectious diseases has been a unique aspect of being able to work at UTMB and allow us to tackle these problems from a unique perspective. One exciting aspect about working with mosquitoes that I've been really able to tap in here with the group at UTMB is our ability to study these mosquitoes in the field in places where these arboviruses are emerging and causing human cases. I'm really proud that with Spectre, we've developed a program that we have been able to reach out to other healthcare institutions. We provide education, not only to our own team for training, to our own colleagues in the healthcare world at UTMB, other healthcare workers and colleagues across the five state region, but also to our public health partners to assure that as a region, we are able to help each other out and to be prepared to respond to not just 
patient care aspects, but preparedness for outbreaks and so on, and bring all of those things together. Thanks for watching, but now an important disclaimer. The content of this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Viewers should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.